What is going on, y'all? Travis here, back again with another Criminal Minds Season 1, Episode 19. Let's get into it. Wow. Paita, ¿qué es eso? Niña o niño esqueleto? Feliz Día de los Muertos. Hola, tío Diego. Mamá, Rosa. ¿Cómo están? Diego, por favor, no. Miguel, ¿por qué has venido? No eres bienvenido. Esta es la casa de mi madre también. Si ella no me quiere aquí, que ella me lo diga. Díselo, mamá. Bueno, pues, jamás voy a ser una vergüenza para ella. Ah. ¡Miguel! ¡Miguel! Yo espero eso de él. Es tu mamá, ella te ama. No, Rosa, ya no me quiere. Después regreso por mis cosas. Él vuelve, mamá. ¡Juré! <ríe> Mira qué bueno que regresaste. No podía yo hablar en frente de Rosa porque ella cree que me puede cuidar ella sola. ¡Ruda! No, no. No, no, no. Hey, what's up, Dad? What's that all about? Why? It's okay. I'm a little grumpy when I wake up sometimes, too. That's great. You guys, see what you did. It's okay. You can grab that? You're holding him like a cantaloupe. What, you think you can do better? Here we go. It's okay. It's from the... Hmm? All right, let's see your profile of disorganized psychopath. It's your wife. I know you're taking the weekend, but I wanted to let you know we got a call. I am so glad you're here, sis. It's been so much easier to get him to take time off. What is she from? And I never could have prepared a meal like that by myself. Gotta go. Go. I mean, it's just a briefing, a couple of hours, and I'll be back, okay? It's okay. Lies. Lies. They need you. It's all right. I'm not mad. You heard her. She said it was all right. You're one hell of a profiler. The victim is Lupe Trejo. The papers down there have connected her murder to 11 others in the past two years, all elderly women. And even though all the murders have happened in the poorer neighborhoods where the locals live. Serial killers make lousy tourist attractions. If the government denies that this is a serial killer, why'd they call us? Right. They have a suspect in custody, the victim's son. They want us to go down there and confirm that this was just a one-time killing. So we're going all the way down there just to prove they don't have a serial killer? Oh, we're going down there to tell them if what I've read in the Mexican papers is true. They got one of the worst serial killers the country's ever seen. But why is that normal for the Ameri Touch. American FBI to from the car. deal with something in Mexico that doesn't have anything to do with? I didn't know that. I, I could see if maybe, like, person Anthony in custody Brando. was... Other things may change us, but we start and end American with or something, but I don't know. Hey. It's weird. At least you get to spend your birthday weekend in Mexico. What's doghouse in Spanish? La Casa del Perro. La Casita del Perro. That's what I said. All right, so why are there so few serial killers in Mexico? The Chicatillo Syndrome. Andre Chicatillo, one of the most prolific serial killers of the 20th century. He's no more experienced than any average serial killer. Jeez. Lived in the Soviet Ukraine. Soviets were convinced serial killers, uniquely American phenomena, inevitable result of decadent capitalism. <laughs> Many Mexicans believe that serial killers are the result of the breakdown of the family. Is it possible that there are fewer serial killers in Mexican culture? Evil is not a cultural phenomenon. It's a human one. I think it also depends on what you have at your disposal. There's a lot more gun violence in the United States than anywhere else. Agent Gideon. Captain Navarro. <laughs> You're shorter than I remember. Oh, I was on a stage. This is Lieutenant Borges. Hello. This is my team. Captain Navarro's been put in charge of the case by the district attorney general. I'm glad you came. I was never sure how much you liked me. Why is that? I've often told Agent Gideon that his profiling technique would not translate accurately in Latin culture. Now's a good time to find out, right? I'd like to get a handle on the type of press this has been getting and meet some of your local police here. The district attorney general put me in charge of this killing when she realized we had a relationship. She had me invite you down to help us settle this mess. You are aware that we may not be giving you the answer you're looking for on this one, yes? You think the papers are right? What are they saying exactly? There's a serial assassin who's killing elderly women in local towns. We'll see. What's all this? Day of the Dead, a three-day Latin holiday where souls of dead relatives are said to return to Earth to enjoy the pleasures that they once knew of. It sounds like he was reading that out of a book. He always sounds like that. I actually, I was reading. I picked this pamphlet up at the airport. As profilers, I thought you'd want to see the crime scene first. You remembered something from my lecture, huh? Actually, I got it from your mentor, Max Ryan. She was found in the bedroom by the daughter. No sign of forced entry. It's probably the husband. Killed. I'm guessing sometime during the evening mass. Otherwise, it would have been seen. 
unless he blended right in. The murder weapon, the knife, was taken from the kitchen and placed at the scene. In that case, it's most likely that she let the killer in voluntarily. She wants some in and then what? They have a drink? Have you run a DNA analysis on these? The closest thing we have to a crime scene unit is Detective Hernandez. The victim's prints were on one, the prints on the other were too smudged. I don't think the killer drank this anywhere. Why not? This drink is tamarind water. It's sweet. I could see the victim offer this to a woman, but most men will have a shot of tequila and some beers and maybe some cigarettes. Get them to the FBI. At the very least, they'll be able to tell us the gender of the drinkers. What are you looking for? Why? Why'd the unsub choose this victim? Why did she feel safe enough to let the killer inside? It's her son. It's Miguel. She has family photographs everywhere, but not Miguel. He's tucked away in her drawer. So the unsub took items of Julie out of the daughter's bedroom. Trophies. But he left Julie on the victim. Why? It's a common sign of remorse. Small amount of respect for the dead. You are almost certainly looking for a heterosexual male. Victim was found on the bed. Stab wounds to the face, chest, and genital area. Heterosexual men attack women. The homosexual men attack men. Did the daughter have any ideas about who might have done this? When she found out that her brother was a suspect, she wanted to talk to him alone. I refused because I didn't want them to get their story straight. She stopped talking completely. So what's she protecting? We're ready to talk to the suspect. But first, there's someone I'd like to meet. Maria Sanchez. Our papers are fascinated with the idea of a serial killer. When Navarro suggested that I invite you in to dispel this nonsense, I immediately saw the wisdom. Enough formalities, I will let you get down to business. Oh, OK, cool. Good talk. She's worse in Spanish. Neighbors heard a loud fight the day of the murder. Well, the uncle had a solid alibi, but we could not find the son. Then we got a tip. He had hired a coyote to take him over the border. We caught him before he crossed. That's Miguel's sister. She's been here ever since she found out that her brother was arrested. Seems like she thinks he's innocent. A dutiful sister. This way. Miguel, tell us about the fight you had with your mother the other night. I didn't hurt my mother. Did it have anything to do with you leaving? She didn't want me to go. She was angry. It was more than that, Miguel. You had problems with your mother for a long time. What is it you're hiding? What truth could be so terrible that you won't defend yourself against killing your mother? Have your mother hiding your photographs in her drawer. When did you first know? Know what? When you're a homosexual. Oh. When did your mother find out? No, then less. How did he know? You told us. Machismo and family, you knew he was gay. You also knew that a gay man couldn't have committed this murder. That's why you asked us about the sexuality of the killer at the crime scene. You knew Miguel was innocent. Why did you lie to us? I had to play along with the official line until I could trust that you would come to the same conclusion that I did. There's a very bad man killing women in my district. And so far, no one will believe me. That's So sucks. if I have to play politics to protect the women of the city, then that is a very small price to pay. Don't you agree? Best way to bring the attorney general on board is by providing a complete profile. We'll need the files on all the murders. We also need to get the whole story out of Miguel Trejo, and right now he's not talking. Obviously, he's not a serial killer. And before we give a profile, we need to rule out the fact that this might be a crime of passion and not one of the serial killing. He'd rather be straight in jail than gay as a free man? I can protect him in here. But if he's taken to a prison in Mexico that City sucks. and the other inmates find out that he is gay, he will be killed. So how do we get him to talk? We know there was a fight. We need to know what it was about. Rosa. We know about your brother. If you don't help us, he could go to prison and he could be killed there. What a crazy fucking world, Internet. man. What a crazy world. Miguel, as a friend, Roberto. He was outside the house waiting for my brother. Oh, is that the he boyfriend? Saw the fight. Did Miguel see him? I don't think so. Why didn't you tell us about this before? Because it would mean telling you that Miguel is, like you said, if he goes to prison and they know this about him, they would kill him. I cannot risk that. You do not understand how bad it is. You do not understand what people will do to us. I just lost my mother. I could not lose Miguel. La familia is todo. Family is everything. She may have come clean about that day, but I still think she's hiding something. Before Miguel met Roberto, Roberto had a wife. He was bisexual. Makes him capable of sexual homicide of a woman. We need to find Roberto. Roberto, vamos a caminar. Vamos. You don't understand. I would never hurt Miguel's mother. She was nice to me. She was trying to accept me. But Miguel's uncle made her feel bad for that. Oh, that's not even Why'd his you dad, Miguel that's his uncle. house. Miguel and I had a fight that day. He was very upset. He got drunk. And I was afraid for him. I was afraid of the trouble he might cause with his uncle. What'd you see? I saw nothing. I saw children playing, a woman. What woman? She had papers, a badge. And she was a social worker going house to house. What did she look like? Maybe 40s or 50s. It is common for social workers and nurses to come from the city. She could be our best witness. I will check with local services. What about Roberto? I don't think he did it. 
He didn't point the finger at his boyfriend. I think a guilty man would have. Run his prints against any found at the scene. I feel confident we can rule out a family fight as a motive for the murder. Don't esta, my lovely. I rushed your cups full of mucus through all the regular channels at lightning speed, and survey says one female drinker and one male. Thanks, doll. It's strange. On this occasion, a man taking that drink. The woman Roberto described, a social worker, that's a common ruse for old lady killers. What if she is really a he in women's clothing? He comes to the door, knocks on it. And the victim feels comfortable because she thinks it's a woman. No one expects the killer to be a woman. We need to tell the locals. We have reason to believe that the killer may be a man who wears women's clothing as a ruse to get into his victim's home. But he wasn't always a killer. He gradually escalated from sex crimes. These may have started out as peeping Tom incidents, eventually leading to rape. How would we have targeted these women? We found no connection Oregon. between them. We don't know yet. We can assume that he plans his murders and that he's been committing sex crimes for many years. You need to talk to all known sex offenders. You should also re-interview all your witnesses and see if anyone saw a man who might have been dressed as a woman. We have another body. What? No sign of forced entry. Stabbed in the chest and genitals. Abrasions on her neck from a necklace. You have jewelry taken from the body. So why was this one different? Over the past two years, we've had an average of one killing every nine weeks. Now two in three days. It's pretty extreme escalation. Who's that over there? I see the other victim. Maybe she can tell us something about the necklace. Yo tengo algunas preguntas para ti si tú puedes contestarlos. Yes. Your mother was wearing a necklace. It was taken from her. Do you know if it had any special significance to her? She gave it to me for my birthday. She never bought jewelry for herself. She asked if she could wear it during the holiday. So this necklace was yours? It was my favorite. I wore it almost every day. Is this some sort of disturbance at the police station? We're going to go check it out. Huh. What is going on here, Borges? They're following the orders of the FBI. Bringing in the sex criminals. What did you tell them? We put out there the possibility that it dresses like a woman. We told them to look into people convicted of sex crimes. Maria, por favor. What is going on, Victor, huh? What do you want people to think of us? It was a misunderstanding. And it won't happen again. Please, go home. I don't see your ass trying to solve it, lady. These police are not stupid men. Just trying to They're cover it up. We told them that the suspect was probably a man dressed as a woman. We didn't say to round up all the transvestites and bring them in. Is it impossible that this man is a transvestite? Men dressing like women, it's a manifestation of sexual I don't preference. Think transvestite it's a is appropriate. It does not imply a psychology of violent behavior. Most rapes here are not even reported. And the rapists are often people who have power over them. Family, sometimes even law enforcement. We can teach you interview strategies. How do we even get to these women? We hold a press conference. What about the attorney general? She wants us to leave. Do not worry about her. I convinced her to bring you down here. I could convince her to let you stay. We will have that press conference. All I have to do is figure out what to say. Be forceful. Tell them, please, if you have any information at all, we urge you to come forward. The reporters will ask, why look for a rapist when we're trying to catch a killer? Tell them that you care about the women in this town and that you are committed to catching the man who hurt them. Why are we looking for a rapist? It's a lot easier to track a rapist than a killer because you have witnesses. But you also have the chance to discover something else, the reason he began killing. As far as we can tell, the first killing was about two years ago. A typical stressor, loss of job, loss of love. He may have been released from prison. Whatever it was, it made him feel impotent, made him feel frustrated. You should be talking to victims who reported rapes just before that first murder two years ago. You should use all the female police you have. It'll help with potential victims at ease. Oh, we don't have any. You do now. Bueno. None. Hasta luego. I've been talking to so many women, I'm forgetting how to speak English. Bueno, Cubanita, we may have something. A woman called the police station after she saw the report on the television. Yeah. She says she has information on the rapist. Me dijeron que usted quería hablar conmigo sobre el violador que estamos buscando. Puede ayudarnos. Do you care? Most of the time, nobody around here cares what happens to women. Nobody does anything about it. That's why nobody talks to the police. Dame un momentico. What can the police do if when a crime is committed, no one comes forward? The man who attacked me is a stupid dog. He came up from behind and he started to rape me. But then I turned around and I started hitting him. I scratched him, I made him bleed. And that's when I saw he was wearing a dress. A dress. I couldn't believe it. I laughed in his face. I called him a pathetic woman. He was so scared. When did this happen, Milagros? Two years ago. If you weren't afraid of this man, why didn't you report him? I told you. What good would it do? 
Well, she claimed it happened two years ago. The first murder happened in September. He could have been the last one who was raped for whatever stressor made him kill. She could have been the stressor. You say this woman laughed in his face, hit him, called him a woman. Maybe he thought he could rape older women. Wouldn't put up a fight, so he tries. He gets frustrated, he kills her, and then he finds the release that he was looking for. You wanted us to come forward? Here are six more women who are raped by this man. Now prove to us it will finally do some good. Wow. Hola. The fuck? How did you find all these women? Senor Navarro, we may not talk to you, but we talk to each other. Well, now you must tell us your stories, because the cycle does not end until this man is stopped. What are you looking at? They all have the same story. He also kissed their neck while raping them. And then when he's finished, he asks, how did I do? What does that mean? When they find this guy. He most likely fantasizes that the victims are his girlfriend. I've been going over the forms filled out by the women. Four of them work in the same factory. He most likely lives or works near the victim. I have owned this plant for nine years, and I do not allow the men I hire to abuse the women. But I do not believe this man works here. The man we're looking for wouldn't be openly abusive. He would be shy with women, especially you. He probably More couldn't look you in this. the eye. How many men work here? Over 50. We need to look through all your employee records. So far, I've found more than three dozen men who fit the target profile. This owner wasn't kidding. They'd be warned once, and then they'd be fired if it happened again. Only one of these men showed up in police records. He beat up a prostitute when she refused to get rough. He'd be scared. He wouldn't have the confidence to stand up to a refusal. See, there's way too many men here to interview. We need to narrow down the profile. What would make our guy stand out? He has none of the confidence of a typical man in me. What was it that he said to the women after rape them? How did I do? Come on. Senora Ramirez, espera. This guy desperately wants to impress you. He always wants your approval. He may constantly ask, how did I do? Pablo Vargas. He's been on vacation since four days ago. What does he do here? He's the floor manager of Sector 16 Women's Plus Sizes. We're going to need his address uh. and any other information you can give us. Thank you. Bueno, alguien está en la casa? Hola. There's a TV on. Someone's inside. Go. Was that that was his house that he was behind the lady? Hola. She's dead. Todo está bien. She been dead too. So you me, señora? She looked crusty from behind. Hodge. A little late. Souvenirs for his mother. Anna's necklace. Oh, look at this. Oh my God. Victims. What a fucking creeper. No. We have a name. How do you find him? Serial killers plan their killings, and if we can figure out how he targets his victims, we can get ahead of him. Borges, what is this? I charted all the names of the rape victims who came in, like they instructed us. That name, Torres. There was a murder victim with that name. Huh? Yes, there are hundreds of Torreses in this town. Let me see the statements. What is it? It's made in names. The murder victims and the rape victims. The names are the same. The moms. He's killing the mothers of the women he raped. And he's doing it in the same order. The daughters of the last two murder victims, Trejo and Santiago, never came forward. According to the board, the next rape victim in line was... Milagros in the way, though. His last. He's gonna kill her mother. What the fuck? Morgan! That's music, though. What's up? You alright? Yeah. No! You good? Behind you. Clear. Hell. Over here! You got me? That's the unsub. Sick fuck. Yeah, bleed out, bitch. Yes! Fuck yes! He pretended to be a woman. Now he doesn't have to pretend. I'm glad they banded together and killed that motherfucker. Good. Good. Oh, are you gonna admit you were wrong, ma'am? Will they be charged? Charged? Why? They were only defending their homes. La casa no se reclina sobre la tierra, sino sobre una mujer. Good job, Agent Gideon. Vámonos. Oh, that's all? Okay. Maybe I, maybe a little bit I was wrong. Y'all were right. What Sorry. You there? It's just an old Mexican proverb. Please, do not hesitate to call next time you're in town. I'm thinking of starting a BAU in my district. Takes a lot of training. Thank you. Adios. Hasta luego. Adios. Adios. Mexican proverb. The house does not rest upon the ground, but upon a woman. Hmm. Interesting. That episode was interesting. Pretty cool. Obviously, like, some problematic language and stuff there, I think. But the show's 20... This episode's 20 years old, so I think you're going to get some of that. Things change. Times change. Lingo changes. 
interesting 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 what uh i mean like that pattern and all that kind of stuff like that's like too like not only are you fucking you're raping which is like makes you like the most high level dirt ball piece of shit on the planet in the first place you're also like going after older defenseless like senior citizens which is like the next level of dirt bald nasty piece of shitness you know what i mean so like you are just that fucker was like complete scum and i said they put should put him in the times square and stone him and instead they banded together those victims and beat his ass with baseball bats and shit which is the next best thing in my opinion i love this show man because you never know what you're gonna get it's so good can't wait for the next one let me know what y'all thought about this one i'll see you soon bye